the Batman Hush 2-pack, then you definitely recognized the diorama in the intro. And I've seen a few of this figure already customized with the coat that it comes with. It's split open and it works just fine, but I wanted to go just a bit further. I really wanted a Hush figure the way it's depicted in the comics with the tunic and the coat that's open. So I did my own take on it. Let me show you what I did. So I'm not going to drag you through the entire process, I've already done most of the work. I'm going to show you what it is I did to achieve certain aspects of the figure. Of course I reused the coat from the Batman Future State, I reused a Green Lantern body, I cut off the mid torso because it was going to interfere with the posing. As it is the tunic is going to cover it so it's not going to be an issue and I don't have to repaint the torso. I do however have to fix the neck retrofit it to fit those head sculpts. I was going to use this in the end, I did not. So I stuck just with the existing head sculpt that came with the Hush figure, but it was still too small to fit around that neck. I was going to uh, retrofit it with this gauze, um, but it was just going to make that neck wide again, so I left it alone. As it is the tunic collar that I made, ended up covering that and it worked out just fine. As you can see I did plug the hole where they removed the emblems. I didn't want it to uh, have an excess relief underneath the shirt or the tunic. And then of course I proceeded to make my own tunic because there was no quilted material this tiny. And yes, I did run it through a sewing machine 17 times, one for each stripe that you see here going horizontally. And then I cut a curve for the neck at the top. So I ended up with a square little uh, quilted brick. And then of course I cut out the back of a single sheet of the pleather. And then I sewed them together like a shirt. Now the red that you see here, that is embroidered on the same machine. I just switched the stitching pattern. And there you go. You've got an embroidery machine. It's not truly embroidered, it's not super thick, but it is thick enough stitching that it looks like it's embroidered and it gives me the look that I need. And of course the sides of the tunic I ended up cutting after I sewn in the red because it was just easier. So let's pop off these arms here and then we're going to fit it with a tunic to see what it looks like. And by the way, the arms are from the original Hush figure. They do fit inside the Green Lantern torso, but you've got to remove that ring that's in the arm. Otherwise, it's not going to go into the socket. And besides, with a tunic, you're not going to notice that you don't have that butterfly ring. So sliding it over the actual figure, and by the way, you can remove the arms at the socket entirely. In this case, I just didn't do it. The pleather has enough elasticity that it will stretch over those shoulders and it will fit just fine, just like you see here in the image. Now, all of the other details, I did have to customize or custom make from scratch, such as the belt and the harness that holds those uh, pouches along the side. Now, the belt itself, you'll see that in just a moment, I ended up reusing from Endless Winter Batman, and then some of those pouches are from just various other figures that I removed the belt from, and I just happened to paint them red and cut them and glued them on. The belt itself is actual pleather. I wrapped it around and you'll see that in just a moment, I painted it yellow. And as you can see here, the coat fits fine around the shoulders. Now, I did initially cut out part of the other coat to cover some of the holes or the excess hole that is on the cutout here from the coat, but it was hindering the movement of the arm. So I ended up removing it. And as it is, the shoulders are deep enough that you don't see or notice that it's a larger cutout. I think eventually I'll end up getting a customized uh, trench coat in that color that's gonna fit the figure much better. 
Here I am grinding out the neck to retrofit it for the heads because the heads are much smaller. I did think about wrapping it with that gauze as mentioned, but as you can tell in just a moment, that neck piece or that collar ends up covering it just enough that I didn't have to do anything with the gauze. So I just left the skin tone that I painted on there. So you can slide this down over the top. You can glue it down to the chest if you wanted to. I ended up gluing it to the inside of the tunic. Just made it easier for positioning it. Because once you glue it down to the body, you're not going to be able to reposition it. And it's just going to be the permanent. Now as you can tell, I cut it in the sides to fit it over the front and over the back. That way I can pull it down tight and fit it where I need it. Here's a quick look at what it looks like before all of the other details are on there and as you can tell it looks that much better. I decided to do it out of cloth because I didn't want to have the excess weight in putty over the shoulders, over the chest and then it was going to be a problem if it was going to go down that low on the tunic. It was going to crack it or break it. So the best solution was the actual cloth material to be able to produce the figure you see here. The hands are reused. I just painted them red. I saw somebody else's custom and I really like the red hands. Now, of course, he's only got one gripping hand and that's the baton or the weapon from Nightwing. It came with a shovel, as we all know. I really didn't care for it. I used it just for the diorama and that's about it. All of the other pieces you see here along the waist and the tunic at the bottom those are all super glued on now I didn't finish off the logo at the top as I am waiting for my logo to come in I only handmade the logo that's on the belt so for those of you who like to see a before and after well here it is and I'm sure that if you've got this figure you already know what this looks like and the after is dynamically different now, I wish this is the figure that we would have received and eventually might have it. But, yeah, I think I'll buy it anyway if we do have it. Again, I may switch out that coat. It's definitely a bit stiff. I do like it better than the one that came with it. And, of course, if you are interested in seeing more of these customized figures, I'll leave a link at the top for you to see a playlist on various other figures. And then, of course, if this is your first time, thank you for stopping by. This is your returning visit. Thank you again for coming back to the channel. We'll see you here next time.